Hello and welcome. This is Aileen. We're going to review two sample questions where we look at what happens next after a change has been approved. The questions have different answers and that's the takeaway from this session today. Many of you know my philosophy. I think we learn a lot more through sample questions than we do by reading the PMBOK guide or maybe a study guide. So let's jump right in and look at two questions. Your vendor, We Fix Roads, is 93% through the work on your contract. They submit a scope change request, which is approved through the Perform Integrated Change Control process. The approved change will be implemented in which process? Pause the video and answer the question. So when I read the question, we're working with our vendor and they submit a change request that gets approved and then the question asks, where does their change request get implemented? Many of us wrongly will jump right to answer A, direct and manage project work. The question is implying, though it's not clearly stated, that the change request is related to the contract that we have in place with our vendor. Therefore, that change request that's been approved doesn't get implemented through direct and managed project work, not control scope. It gets implemented through the process control procurements. Remember, approved change requests are not only an input of direct and managed project work, but they're also an input of control procurements. The question again is implying that the approved change request is related to the contract with the vendor and therefore it gets implemented in control procurements. Plan scope management doesn't make sense here. We're gonna look at a second question, a similar question, though the answer is different. Your vendor, We Fix Roads, is 93% through the work of your contract, on your contract. Based on their work, you submit a change request to your project baselines, which is approved through the Perform Integrated Change Control process. The approved change will be implemented in which process? Pause the video and answer the question. In this question, the right answer is not control scope, it's not control procurements, it's not plan scope management. In this case, the right answer is direct and manage project work because the approved change is related to the project and we know this because it says it's a change request to your project baselines. Therefore, change requests that are approved get implemented in the process direct and manage project work. If they're related to the project, they get implemented in control procurements if they're related to the contract. If you found these two questions useful, you may want to look at my online materials. I have online materials that I call self-study. If you already have the 35 con contact hours, or I have a full online workshop, if you require the 35 contact hours, either way, go to AileenEllis.com. Regardless if you use my online materials, post a comment, let me know what you liked about this video, and let me know how I can make my next video even better for you. This is Aileen. Good luck on your PMP exam.